D Mackey, what's up? Nobody mentioned the P word. Except me in the stream title. That's beside the point. <clears throat> Hey, they're in the wrong slots. That's weird. Mm. Much better. Anything more stressful to me than the current political climate is the thought of playing ladder. Hmm. Wow, that's... He goes first scout, then a Lobo. That's just ridiculous, really. Alright, we got some viewers. We're not going to stream for too long, guys, because I'm fairly wrecked at this point. But, uh, you know, do a couple hours, maybe. Tap out. Will this Lobo do anything? He has to really make sure he doesn't, you know, blow his load with the scout. I mean, you can see he didn't need to make first scout here. Because the scout is already across the map. Instantly, the Lobo takes another 30 seconds to get across. So, he kind of didn't think that one through. Now he's building two pigeons at once. Don't want to do that. You really don't want to do that. If we look at UD, you can see everything's building the same thing. He's stalling. Because he went first factory. This is why you don't go first factory. If you want to just... Well, you basically have to make a, a unit early on. Otherwise, you'll have too much build power. And here come the Lobo shells. Oh, it's gonna work. He hit the wrong pigeon, though. Shinobu's laughing. Because it's pretty funny. It's not firing. Oh, no, it is. Sorry, he killed the pigeon. Why? Why is he... He's not doing any extra damage. He's just hitting a single pigeon at a time. Oh, that did damage, but now he's going to lose the, the Lobo before it fires, is he? Oh, it fired. What did it fire at, though? The wrong pigeon. Oh, it actually killed it. Interesting. Is that worth it, though? Actually, might be. Because UD went for a really fast second factory, so he's super low on power now. Interesting. That that actually kind of worked. I think it's kind of Yuri's fault that it worked though. <laughs> Swaggle's wondering the same thing, did that work? And I think Yuri will admit that, it, to himself at least, that it did. Big damage. Slightly sarcastic. Only slightly. If he had killed some engineers, that would have been even better. Three engineers low. No air factory planned here. No air factory planned here either. Hmm. That's a waste of a tank. It's gonna die to all these mantis. More bad micro. Swakal is just wasting units. You'll notice that uh, <laughs> Yudi didn't lose a single unit here. And he killed, I think, four tanks in total there. Didn't lose a single unit. And now Yudi is way ahead, and yeah, he's just scaling faster. 
one engineer here one engineer assisting the commander to build mexes Swackle, well, he also has some assistance. Wait, no, it's Swackle that has more mass. It's not UD. What the hell? I was looking at it backwards. Damn, I really need to get some sleep, clearly. But yeah, Swackle is actually way ahead right now. In terms of mass. Oh, T2 Max, I love it. I love that he made a T2 Max already. That's a Chad move. Power wise, he's not so far ahead though. Which means, oh, all this generated mass is going to waste. That's really disappointing. Maybe he should, yeah, he really just needs, he needs power more than anything else. He needs, well, first he needs engineers. Multiple factories should be making engineers right now. And then, uh, defend yourself. But yeah, he really needs power. He can't spend his resources. He has so much resources that he cannot use. Ouch. Where's the support factories? Where are they? UD, you can see, actually using all his resources, now has three T2 P gens already, he's going T3 land, he's got PDs up, he's maybe lacking in units. This could be a really painful raid on the left hand side. What's this game? It's a custom game between uh, UD and Swackle. What's up, Pablo? I'm bully. Oh, these PDs are gonna get a lot of damage done. Look at this. Swaka's just standing in range of them, really. Didn't know Yudi played random one versus ones. Yudi's playing a lot. He's playing a lot these days. And. He's playing at weird times of the day uh, quite often, so. Probably ends up. When he's not in a random 1200 plus sentence, he's in a game like this, I guess. And he, there is a, you know, major one versus one tournament coming up, so why not get yourself in shape? Swackle is going to be in this tournament as well, so suitable person to uh, have a game against. Look at all the T2 mass. Just. Just for a reference, look at how much it costs to upgrade this T1 Max here. Minus two mass. Here's what it should normally cost. Minus nine mass. This is why you make T2 Maxes on uh, on uh, Crazy Rush. Swackle simply cannot spend the resources. He's just not able. He has, well, he does have T2 support factories now, but yeah, he's simply not able to spend his mass. Technically, it's minus four. But yeah, true, because there's two generated mass. But yeah, minus four instead of minus nine. The case is the same. Although I did slightly mislead you in the numbers there. What's up, Forte? Sorry you had a crappy day. Nice little fire base. I wish he didn't waste so many units into the PDs. Oh my god. Please, stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop walking into the PDs. Just, just walk away. Just walk away from the screen. How is... Dying to seven Siren PD is real. Just... Just walk away. No, the MMLs are in range now. Just give one move order. Sparkly. Casting fraud. How dare you? Okay, he's still in range. Good to know. 
good to know. Nice Lobos here. T3... NGs, Sams, T2 Artillery taking out a second P-Gen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Two T2 P-Gens are down. The PDs have not stopped firing ever. Not even ever. Just, just never stopped firing. UD trying to get his own T2 Artillery up. He has no shields however. He is oh he's making a lot of arty though. He does have shields in this area. Uh, he's got a T3 P gen. He's making oh my god! Look at look at what Yuri's doing. He's such a he's such a troll. <laughs> he has no units. <laughs> What's up, Carrion? He has five Medusa and a Mantis. Meanwhile, he has. <laughs> It's <laughs> just 44 hives. Sorry. Yeah, 44, 46, 7, 8. And he has his first rest SCU. 15 minutes and 20 seconds. Pillars pushing through. It's still just insane damage on the PDs. Finally, they're, some PDs are dying. Nice kill. Oh, the T3 H, uh, land HQ might die. Not that I I feel like Yudi doesn't care about his T3 land HQ too much. Really seems that way. He's now repairing his uh T3 P gen. TML Probably could find some targets. Why build units if your opponent's happy to park his army in range of your PDs? Yeah, well uh now the units are coming. Oh my god, look at this wall of PDs here. A literal wall of T1 PDs. Literal wall of T2 PDs now. Uh, but there are Percy's, and these are only Cybern PDs. And a lot of, well, a lot of T2 artillery firing. Damn, the T2 artillery for Swackle has tons of kills. PDs are dying. How many Rassus do we have? Still have one, I guess. Oh, T3 P gens are in range of the artillery. There's more artillery coming up. <laughs> oh, what a silly game. He's got three RAS SUs. He's got a lot of mass now. Can't produce any T2 or T3 units because he lost the HQ. Does have a lot of, you know, 40 T2 PDs. Whoa, that's a huge power stall. And a huge power stall, as he's trying to spend 1200 mass per tick. Pretty expensive. Oh, he got his T3 HQ up. That's probably what was costing him all those resources. Oh. He's desperately repairing his uh, T3 P gens. He's got an Omni. What does Swackle have? He's got his P-Gen. He's got two of them actually. He's making epic Janus. He's making a lot of Percy's. Looks like he, uh, yeah, he lost this base. Still has this one but there's no shields left so I don't think it's gonna last too long. There's a lot of artillery for for your boy UD. Who has 1,000 mass income now? Huge number of T2 maxes. Where's the TMD? Where is the TMD? Okay, there's one here, and there's five here. Now I'm seeing a small gap. A small gap here. Swakko continues to walk into T2PDs. Survival level. T2 PDs and he just walks his tanks into range of them stands there killing T1 engineers and pretends that everything will be okay I think we gotta speed it up now I can see some T3 UEF MML yeah that would be oof that would be nasty their AOE I don't think is very high but they would immediately kill 
the mexes. Oh, Yudi, Yudi wasted a racist to you there. I can't believe it. He's gonna waste another one. Two RAS SUs are down. Endless numbers of PDs are here. How many PDs now? 127. 127. Fatty's done though. Uh, there's 19 T2 Arties. That's quite a lot. If Fatty can stand here, use these shields to help him out. Get some mobile shields as well. The Percy's are useless. I don't know why he's not making mobile missile launchers or mobile artillery. More RASSUs going down. UD standing directly next to... Oh, there goes another RASSU. Standing directly next to a T3P gen. Once again, there's still no TMD here. Oh my god. The Janus attack the T2PDs and are surprisingly effective. However, there are a hundred more T2PDs to, to attack. What's the ACU upgrade? It's um... I think it's T2. Yudi making Rasus using Crazy Rush. Yep. That's Yudi. He's... Look at all the hives he has. 70 hives. He has 1800 mass income. It's time for T3 maxes actually. Hopefully he makes like a Scathus or something. That would be fun. Oh he does have some T3 maxes. Wackel says WTF. Oh, his fatty died. Probably to the 31 artillery. That's probably what did it. Whoops. Creative approach. More like the UD seeing what he can get away with. This is just pure pure UD being UD. Can I make zero units beyond T1 and uh, Rass SUs and win the game easily? Well, the answer is yes. UD now has. 2,000 mass income to Swackle's 700. Oh, a satellite would be amazing. Definitely would. Problem is that he's could never kill. It could never kill the the Mexes fast enough for uh, for Swackle to ever catch up. How many RAS SCUs? This is the question. Oh, just a small 42 RAS SCUs being built out of four gateways. Oh, 44 now. The Arties and Percy's showing their strength here. They actually managed to reach the base, kill all these T2PDs. But then they will die. Fatty's got to be under attack. Yeah, it is. Swackle trying to get a better angle, so he's fighting less artillery at once, but it doesn't matter. He's going to lose it now anyway. Well, very soon. He's trying to dodge. Needs to just move backwards a little bit, so he's out of range of a few more of them. Right now, he's in range of too many. And he's about to lose it. 500 HP. No shielding. Please leave. This way. You need to move away. Yeah, it's dead. 
Would the scatters be able to fire in this map? Uh, I'm pretty sure it could fire. Yeah. Oh, that would be glorious. That's what I want to see. The Scathus. Imagine if he built Megas. Oh yeah, no, the game could be over a long time ago. But it's not really the point. Hmm. <laughs> What's up, Swackle? <laughs> Why did you allow Yudi to do this to you? Look, he has 3,000 mass income. <laughs> I really wish you would make the Scathus. Yeah, Swako calls GG. Exactly. Now you're getting it. Why end the game when you're having this much fun? Look at this. Why would Yudi ever end this game? He has... 71 Rassus to use. He also has 111 Gunthers. 203 Cerberus turrets. This is far too much fun to end it. Swackle however does give in. Eventually. <laughs>